Is Concord, California gonna be the next Silicon Valley? Well, on a smaller scale, it's possible. And on today's video, we're diving into all the development details and tea on this topic. Last Wednesday, developers unveiled a new plan for the $6 billion Naval Weapons Station project. This project would bring 15,000 homes to the decommissioned military base. Originally, this was planned for a mixed use development with 13,000 new homes, 2,700 acres of parks, and 6 million square feet of commercial and academic space on the former base of over 12,000 acres. And now the new plan includes an additional 3,000 units to meet the demand of the current influx of residents we're seeing here in Concord, California. The previous developer informed the organization of the decommissioned military base that the project was unfeasible from a profit standpoint, which was largely due to the high cost of constructing the necessary infrastructure, the lack of clear community benefits, and the requirement to adhere to stringent land use regulations. By adding more housing and devising a new strategy for the project's 25% affordable housing component are intended to improve the financial feasibility that were otherwise inhibiting this whole entire project. The negotiation of this affordability have been in the works for over a year. So the agreed upon terms in this negotiation are a huge step forward in this development that wouldn't be completed until 2080. And to think in 2080, I'll be 69 years old. For those of you who may be involved in the city or even like to keep a track of things going on in the East Bay like I do myself, this topic will actually be up for discussion in a community meeting on December 15th. Here's a quick fact about this project that I found to be very intriguing. This project would be the biggest redevelopment effort in the Bay Area based off of acreage and represents a nearly 20 year effort to reposition this US Navy outpost. And this project has faced numerous hurdles, but the biggest hurdle was the previous developer fallout back in 2020. Based off the new term sheet, this project will be built out over a 40 year process and in five phases. Now there is some controversy that has been stirred in the Concord community based off of the master developer of this project. Now, if you don't know the master developer, it is Discovery Homes, which is a Concord based multi-generational development company owned by the Sino family. Discovery Homes, and most importantly, the Sino family, has been criticized for its track record of building here in the community, and they have a 45% stake in the project. Now, here is my favorite part of this whole project, because you guys know how much I love affordable housing and how much we need it here in the Bay Area. First, the terms have been agreed upon to use all union labor for the components of this project, which was the biggest dilemma for the previous developer, Lennar Homes, and they will provide over 3,000 affordable homes for low income income households at 80% of the area median income or below. I truly believe this will add a ton of value for the city of Concord. And if I'm being honest in my personal opinion, Concord has kind of always lacked attraction in a community feel. With Concord also being, in my opinion, one of the most commutable cities as far as a centrally located standpoint, I believe this will bring jobs, a stronger presence, and increase home prices for Concord and its surrounding sister cities as it continues to gain momentum. So for those of you watching this, I want want to hear your thoughts on this development. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is a positive or a negative for the city of Concord. As always, I'm Roland Osage with Real Broker, and if you're ever looking to leave the Bay Area or even come to the Bay Area, my team and I would love to help. You have all of my contact info in the description below, as well as any buyers or sellers guides or anything that you may need help with. We look forward to hearing from you soon.